the definition of tradition lies in words such as characteristic, manner, method, and style. And if we apply the word tradition to boats and boat building, an exemplary case in point would have to be Sabre Yachts. Steeped in the tradition of being main built, Sabre has been crafting its fine line of boats since 1971. And a perfect example of just how committed the company is to excellence and tradition, let's have a look at Sabre's 34 Hardtop Express. For Power Motor Yacht TV, I'm Ken Chrysler, Senior Editor of Power and Motor Yacht Magazine. Welcome aboard. It's quite evident that tradition prevails aboard the Sabre 34, for there's no mistaking her well-proportioned down east lines. From stem to stern, she's all main built, with her fine Sabre craftsmen paying special attention to detail and quality. High rails and wide walkways make getting around safe and easy, while the broad bow area allows for a reliable anchoring platform. With the wheel in the capable hands of Jay Siebert, Jupiter Yacht Sales' service manager, I have an opportunity to look around the cockpit. First, right here, U-Line Ice Maker. And right here in the sole, sizable lazaret and stowage area. Fully aft on the transom, heavy duty transom door, and right here, comfortable seating area. There's also a seating area right here opposite, and stowage area underneath. And as you can see, the cockpit itself is quite sizable and comfortable. Now, let's take a look forward. To port is this convertible seat, designed by Stid, especially for Sabre. When deployed, it becomes a comfortable settee or even an extra berth. And just opposite is the galley area with a two burner electric stove top, sink, and under counter microwave and stowage cabinets. I have to tell you, I have a real bias towards main built boats. My first boat was a 42-foot wooden lobster boat that I worked all throughout college, graduate and, and undergraduate, graduate and postgraduate work. It's just a sweet little boat, had a lot of tradition to it. Anyway, it's obvious a lot of thought went into the design and planning of the helm and entertainment area aboard the 34 Express. The most obvious is that step up. And what that does is that raises the floor and gets you right up into the action gets you excellent views into the seaway and out the lodge side windows. Also, a wooden grab up here makes holding on very convenient. As far as the helm area, all switches are right within hand reach, as are the controls. And in the console, in the helm here, plenty of room to flush mount all the necessary electronics. And right here in the sole, a large hatch to the engine space. We'll take a look at that in a few minutes, but for now, Let's take a look down below and see how Sabre laid out the living accommodations. Entrance is via this centerline stairway where the comfortable quarters are surrounded by finely finished woodwork. There's a couple of nice stowage areas and one of them is right here inside the cabin. First we have four drawers and then right here at the foot of the berth, tool set and underneath the mattress complete stowage area. As you can readily see, the head is quite sizable for a 34 footer. And of note is the comfortable starboard seating area that provides ample space in which to kick back while in the dock or on the hook. Sabre even managed to find space under the steps for stowage cubbies, as well as the top one for the emergency battery switches. And again, with engine room space on a 34-footer at a premium, Sabre designed the 34s with plenty of room available for access to all necessary maintenance and major systems. My Sabre 34 Express was equipped 
with a pair of 380 horsepower Yanmar 6LY3 diesel inboards. And according to data verified by Sabre, she topped out at an exciting 31.3 knots or just over 36 miles per hour in 21 seconds while her time for plane was seven seconds. At 3100 RPM, she maintained an average speed of 29 knots or 33 miles per hour. At that rate of speed, and with the tanks topped off at 250 gallons, the Sabre 34 Express can expect a range of about 220 nautical miles. With boats like the 34 Hardtop Express, it's obvious that tradition runs deep at Sabre Yachts. And I hope you've enjoyed your time aboard this boat as much as I have had showing you around. For Power Motor Yacht TV, I'm Ken Chrysler, Senior Editor of Power Motor Yacht Magazine. I'll see you next time. Oh,